Good evening. I see I made it here before you started. Yes, you did. So I'm just getting started and we have a lot to do. So we're going to get into it. Okay, what joke was better? The grinding halt joke or the palm tree joke? <laughs> there were jokes yeah it was very very clear oh we're gaming <laughs> it's not just chatting yeah otherwise you guys were gonna talk me into playing some overwatch and we can't have that we can't have that until <gasps> mm, i forgot about the bandit camp okay no this is part of the scenic route Yes, how could I forget that it was part of the scenic group? Scenic, 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 scenic. Yes, okay, I've got it now. So we need to go here. <laughs> Overwatch, who is she? Or I could maybe, what I inch. Or could I interest you guys in uh, Rocket League instead? Gonna go destroy some 5G cell towers? That's the idea, book. That's the idea. Okay, how are we on everything? You know what I wish you could do? I wish you could change the order of um, some of the ammo types. For example, I don't know what this weird ammo type is with the, the screws and nuts and stuff like that, but I don't want it. <laughs> Judging by your history with bandit camps, this will be a good time. You mean my professional bandit camp clean out service? Very professional, done in a uh, timely and orderly fashion. So, this area is known for containing stalkers. Bandit camp? I think with Harvest you hit a bop with it at least once more. Well, I kind of like when the machine parts don't come flying off the machines because then they're, it's much, much faster to loot. Okay, where do we think the front door to this place is? rain be all spoopy
everybody get comfy. Oh, it's for removing components. I like to take grazers for blazes with harvest. They have four canisters, so you can get 24. Aha. Okay, so it's for if you're into the precision of knocking off parts. Uh, or getting more bang for your buck with the knocked off parts. That makes sense. Confused, is that the bandit camp or is this the bandit camp? Oh, I see somebody in there. First strike. Okay, this is a This play style is called identification of where all of your enemies are. So by not sneaking, we now see all their little like, huh, arrows. How does that not hit you? Okay. Some sort of mechanisms that help them cheat a little, you know? Oh, like they're gonna perfectly ah. duck? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, now I see. It. particular play style is not for everybody. That hit you. I'm sorry, but... Okay, you guys 
are just blowing through arrows here. We're not made of money. Oh, I do not like slow-mo jumping. wire <laughs> maybe you used it all there's no way i had like over i had like over 400 there is something that keeps uh, flashing that do you guys see it hello i need wire okay let's figure out what what can we sell here Rope caster uses a ton of wire. It, it could have been the rope caster from all of the uh, the trial stuff last, last time. I have two wire. No, that's so sad. Oh. Is there a way that you can buy in bulk? What if your plushies in the background just flip me the finger? No, they would they would never block us. <laughs> you have like 2k trees. You never know when you're gonna run out, Quirk. <laughs> That's the life flashing before the <laughs> the bandits lose their lives. Really weird. Can't tell if it's like my overhead light. Okay. doing today good good <laughs> we're rich boys and this is after we bought the ab armor and like three new weapons i think you know what? we're gonna we're gonna treat ourselves and we're gonna get 300 wire because we we deserve it I just made a fortune off of us. I need this. Aha. Got a blue boy. Only justice Durval deserves is at the tip of a spear. Jeez, lady. Uh looks like I'm clear. This was a 
quick little stop. <laughs> Where was that man carrying 300 wire? Well, we do not ask a man such questions. He just does. Pause for concern. Farewell. Talk to Nil. Where did this come from? Alright, let's... Do we see what Nil has to say? I thought we were kind of done with him after the last band camp. <laughs> Bruh, thank you so much for the resub. Nine months. So you got a new uh, sub badge, right? Formaldehyde, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Pump on fire. Oh, we should probably grab this. We use a lot. What? And so bittersweet. Like a smile for a bloody teeth. What's the matter? You look disappointed. <sighs> oh, the bandit clans are gone. I hear another turned back at the southern plains. Just at a sniff of the legend we carved. That's Wait. what all this bloodshed was for. To end the bandit threat. But now there's nothing left to kill. Unless... No, no. I guess this is our last farewell. Yeah. After all we've been through, this isn't the place for that. I feel like this could be the place there's for There's a that. mesa south of Meridian with a view of the spear shafts. Meet me there. You know, he's probably gonna try to talk to us, talk us into, like, killing totally, like, innocent people. We just never know. Talking to Nils, like, Russian roulette. You just know he's gonna say something creepy. You just, you never know when. It just sort of, it hits you out of nowhere every time. And you always feel like you should know better, but... I just feel like you need to, like, take a shower after talking to him. It's just ick. That dude is a serial killer, but he makes it okay by being like, oh, well, they're just bandit camps or whatever. But you know what? It's not okay, Nell. No. It's not okay. Everybody keep your eyes peeled. They could be anywhere. Being attacked by machines. Uh, yeah, it is. I got you guys. I got you guys. Let's take our chances. Listen, you run. Yes. Okay. No. What? Fire! 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 Where's my stuff? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna die! Not like this! Not like this! Oh. oh. Why do we always try to help people? Okay, hold on. Before you guys panic anymore, I really feel like I can do this. Okay. That's 
One down. I am totally out of ammo. I need more of this. More of these. us out of a tough spot, Outlander. Welcome to Sunstone Rock. You, you should Thank speak you. to Warden Geneva inside. You know what? I think I will just after I do a teensy bit of looting, because this took quite a few of my precious resources. You know what? If I just had a little bit more, um, you know, of a of a command of these people, there probably would have been zero fatalities. But instead, they were unsure. They Haven't didn't you listen got anything to me. better to do? Who? Who? Cater Welch, thank you so much for the sub. Bandits? Wait, where do you see bandits? Sorry, I was trying to use a door to get into your establishment, but I recognize. Uh -huh. It was a machine lure. We don't know how they got it. Rosgrun concealed the parts on his person, no doubt. We searched him. How? You don't want to know how. Oof. In his butt, probably. Hello! Warden Geneva. This is the one who defeated the behemoths. Outlander. I'm impressed. I don't impress easily. Tell me, how do it you fare with nothing. hunting living prey? Yeah, you're expressing Haven't had any complaints? <laughs> Crack me up well, while you're playing. Love your three stream. dangerous Thank prisoners so have escaped. Much. I need my men here, getting the others back in line. None of this would have happened if we dealt with criminals the old way. But I've clashed that gong before, and here I am. And here you are. Hey. Uh, Nil. Why are we bringing up Nil? Clang bang! Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, well, I wonder if it's these dangerous prisoners, and I like happened to catch them running out, and like didn't didn't realize it. What's the old way? To be buried up to the neck and left for the sun's judgment. Seems to me like the judgment's already been made. Not one of them committed another crime. Mm, so they're reformed, I see. Who are these dangerous prisoners? Three from the isolation cages. Don't feel sorry for them. They've lived well off the Sun King's <laughs> conscience. I can't wait First for the nail is Rosgrund. Osram trap maker, hates the Karja, crazy as a loon in heat. Caught in one too many blasts, or one too few. Then there's Ulia, a Tanakhth warrior, if that means anything to you. Nope. Not really. Another tribe? Reavers. From the south. Bloodthirsty. Some say they're cannibals, but she slurped gruel well enough. Oh. And the last is Gavon. A traitor who smuggled weapons to the exiles. 
Compared to the other two, this one doesn't seem so bad. Mm -hmm. He helped drag out a civil war, all for the shards it got him. A machine has more warmth. Understood. Understood. Yeah, that's a word. Understood. How do you know Nil? Do you know a hunter named Nil? He told me about this place. Nil? That's what he calls himself now. Is he well? I maybe wouldn't say well. <laughs> he was born under a long and dark shadow, but he wasn't a knife without a thought behind it. Like the butchers of the Sunring. He had honor. Old-fashioned. His time here... Boiled it to the surface. Okay. That seemed a little non answery, but sure. I love that the lead is a female character. She does kick butt and she's like sassy too, which I like. Um, so wrong. the Karja keep their criminals in this place? Since the liberation. We've had them all, from thieves to the Mad King Jaron's former Kestrels. The Sun King believes in the power of change, and sure enough, some did change. Shed their skin, like lizards. And others? I thought all criminals were the same once. That's why the Sun King gave me command of Sunstone Rock, as an education. Mm -hmm. Sounds like quite the honor. Sounds like an honor. I mean, I haven't seen any other women in Karja armor. No. I'm not one of your sisters. No woman can wear Karja armor. When I was young, I chose to become a soldier. One good enough to join Avad's honor guard. There was talk about what I was. So I'd say, test me, and I'll break your arm. After enough arms had been broken, there was less talk. I'm curious, mm -hmm. but I'd rather we didn't have to start fighting. Agreed. All right, cool, good talk. So you want these prisoners brought back? No, I want them put in the earth. I doubt they'll give you any choice. They had their chance with the Sun King's generosity. So now they face mine. A bounty on all their heads. Ulia of the Tanakh, Razgrund of the Asaram, and the traitor Gavon. If I did this for you, I'd need a lead on them. Well, when Ulia first swept through the Sundom, it was with the jungle bandits. I say she'll go back. Mm -hmm. Razgrund we pulled out of a crack in Dust Mesa, where he'd been tinkering with his bombs. And Gavon will be trying to pay his way across the lake. I'd burn my palm on it. Look in Bright Market. Bright Market, okay. It's always the ones you least expect to cause you trouble. All right, let's see. Are these on the scenic route? I think they are, right? Well, there's one. Is this one? No. Wait. No. Okay. Ulia is here. Razgrund is here. I don't see where the third little... Um, Geneva non-binary I like that I like how they kind of went around she was like you know what I don't know what I am but I break arms and that's all you need to know in your life that's all I need to know you are right okay so Vantage Yulia Bright Market, the lake town northwest of Meridian, which is also the same place that Nil was talking about, right? Maybe not. <laughs> Geneva's gender is, I'll break your arm. How about that? Any other questions? Vantage, Yulia, Medicine. Yeah. Definitely gonna be 
not very good at spotting the little handholds sometimes. over here. Thank you, right. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, jump. <laughs> All right. So we'll just, you know, climb to the top of this whole thing here. somebody with the last name Mati like who is this person there makes it seem like uh, he ends up going into to sp space and technology, but uh, a lot of people could have went to that field. I wonder... Mm. No, I don't know. Mati, Mati... The name sounds so familiar, but I think it's just from collecting all the vantages up until this point that now I'm like used to seeing his name or whatever. Um, <laughs> everything is okay. Nobody's getting hurt. I'm looking for a person this time. Okay, I already got rid of the bandits. I don't think it'll be hard to find this warrior. No, the bandits will fight to determine the strongest. Do you think I should try to talk to her first, or? This is really the scenic route if you're backtracking. It's so scenic that I would like to see it for the second time. Yes. Uh, the Vantages have more text than the associated data points. Talk for sure. Perhaps they will send so Did you read the text journals that go with each? There's text journals? Hold on. Not 
these. Wait, how do you how do you know? Is it a collectible? Which one did I just do? I just did Monument. What? What is this? Okay, hold on. We, we gotta go back. Are they in order? Day two, day four, day three, day eight, nine, seven, twelve, five, six. Okay. Hope everybody has got their reading glasses on. You're cozied up. You got a good drink in hand. Okay. Storm tour day one. Where better to start than the end? Or where the end started anyway. Ground zero, where it all came crashing down. My career first, then everything else. And I mean everything. Hi Ma, remember how static I we were when I landed a job here? Aerospace control engineer at Faro Automated Solutions, straight out of Stanford U. Saturday, I was tossing a mortar board Monday, I'm an employee of the biggest corporation on earth. Starting wage, six times basic. It was a dream come true. Yours as much as mine. When I found out I landed the gig, I waited until graduation day to tell you in person. You were so proud. You hugged me five minutes straight, laughing and crying at the same time, saying over and over, onwards and upwards, the start of great things. I thought so too. It seemed as though nothing bad would ever happen to me, to us, ever again. But bad did happen, of course. More bad than I ever knew was possible. And while I can't blame FAS for making you sick, Metallurgic gets the credit for that. I can sure as heck blame Faro for the rest. But let's talk about the end of the world later. It plays a part in this story, of course. If I hadn't found out what was coming, I wouldn't be doing this, leaving these time capsules behind. But these, but the apocalypse isn't the story I want to tell. This is going to be about our family, about us. It's time to get going. I've spent enough of my life in the shadow of this place. I've got 11 more vantage spikes in the trunk of Sabra, the Sabra I rented, and some pretty good ideas for where to sink them. So let's get the heck away from this place and start sinking. Does this actually play from here? It does play from here. A bucket shit storm tour. Day one. Where better to start than at the end? Or where the end started anyway. Round zero. Where it all came crashing down. My career first. Then everything else. And I mean everything. Okay. That's one. That's in Maker's End. Where was two? Here, okay. My father guest lectured here, a 300 level military history course on the age of human air power. Might as well have been teaching medieval siege tactics. I was eight when he died. Hi, Ma. You brought me here once to see Baba teach. I didn't know it at the time, but the class was something out of the 20th century. He stood behind a lectern in a real space lecture hall raising his unamplified voice to be heard by flesh and blood cadets seated in plastic chairs this was 45 or 46. our air forces must have already been 60 to 70 percent automated but the academy was still old school literally i suppose the quaintness of the setting fit the subject he was teaching the he the age of human air power 1909 through question mark the cadets probably thought the question marks were wishful thinking or willful, willful ignorance, but 
sorry, from their perspective, the air of the human pilot was already over, but not for Baba. I can still see the medals he kept in that drawer in the bedroom. The inscriptions in Sanskrit touch the sky with glory. You said one meant. Even as a Commodore in the IAF, he kept flying. He still remembered what it was like to sit in a cockpit with his hand on the stick and his finger on a trigger. And that's how he died. June 5th, 2048. At the funeral, some metallurgic international rep said we should be proud he died defending free markets. Even then, I knew that was a lie. He died defending M. Ince's claim on a tantalum mine. That's what he died for. And why stop the truth telling there? Really, he died because M. Ince wasn't yet rich enough to afford a fully automated fleet because it wasn't cost effective to upgrade a military surplus razor wing with improved electronics warfare gear. He died because human combat pilots were just as obsolete as the crates they put them in and just as expendable. When he spiraled into the jungle, our family crashed with him. For weeks, he couldn't get out of bed. And then came the hospital. Me staying with neighbors. Even after you recovered, even when you said all the right things and promised we'd be okay, I didn't believe it. Something had broken between us. I felt like an orphan. And nothing seemed to matter anymore, which is how I lived for the next seven years until it almost killed me. Okay. Aloy actually picks up onwards and upwards in one of her idol. Oh, like as she's walking around, she actually says it. <laughs> We're out of cookies, crews on the brink of mutiny. Lead <laughs> on, I remember real space lecture halls. Same. Dancing Mermaid, thank you so much for the follow. Hey, 2048. <laughs> I remember that game. Okay, I feel kind of bad reading through all of these. Do you guys want silent reading time? We could probably go faster. The third team when I broke in and vandalized this place. Me and that kid. I think his name was Star. It was my first arrest. A real banner day for the Monty family. What a messed up kid I was. Hi, Ma. Like me, Star was a problem kid, but he wasn't really smart enough to get into trouble on his own. I didn't tell him my real motivations, just made breaking into the museum and vandalizing it sound like a fun thing to do high on duster. I was only 13, but my combined interest in tech and drugs had already acquainted me with the basics of hacking security systems. I used a jammer to bypass a window alarm, and then I got to work. I toppled hollow exhibits, smashed dioramas, yanked display panels off the walls, and smashed those too. I forgot all about Star until he yelped about flying glass. He was just standing there, holding his cheek, staring at me with big, scared eyes, whining about how this was crazy and I was going to get us arrested. He was right about the arrest. Getting caught was part of my plan, but wrong about the crazy. My one-boy one orgy of destruction wasn't some kind of drug-soaked psychotic frenzy. It was a calculated attack. Not on the museum. On Wyatt. You'd started dating Wyatt a few weeks before, and I didn't like him. I wanted him gone. When you had him over for dinner, one of the many boring things he droned on about was how he served on the board of the museum and oversaw its technology purchases. Anyways, as I was saying, Star was right to think that we were going to get arrested. It went down quick. Star began screaming about how he was burning all over, and the next thing I knew, I was face down in a mound of expanding foam. The police bots never even warned us. Compared to Star, I got up easy. I never even been on the business end of a microwave gun, but they say it hurts like heck. I was still picking bits of that foam out of my hair a week later, though. Fines and damages came to 18 months of basic income, so it wasn't just shame that my actions brought on the family, but financial catastrophe, too. Which is why my plan backfired. I didn't push Wyatt away. I handed him a golden opportunity. He stepped in and paid the bill, and it was only another month or two before he got engaged. It's weird, but lately I've been dreaming about that night. I keep seeing that first projector I toppled. Watching that hologram of a pioneer woman slew sideways and spin to the floor like a bowling pin as the emitter crushed over. A zap and flicker as she was gone. History shorting out. Kind of like now. I wonder if anyone will survive to build museums about us. Rip. 
<laughs> Some of the text in here is just, for what's worth, it's nice for me to listen. Okay. Story time is good. I love stories. All right. Uh, I'll try I'll try to keep up with the, uh, maybe I'll do five and then we can do five later. Day four. It's hard to believe Metallurgic International used to be headquartered in this dreamy old cigarette. Wyatt's office was on the second floor from the top. If M. Int had a policy against workplace romances, he probably wrote it. Hi, Ma. Looking back, it's almost comical how much I detested Wyatt. I hated everything about him. His lumpy face, his bad skin, his always calm voice, his out-of-style suits, and especially his stupid cowboy name. I don't care how badly you want to assimilate, there is never any excuse for naming your kid after a gunfighter. I couldn't believe you would replace my Baba, a decorated combat flyer, with a corporate drum. So I made it as hard for you as I could. I was beyond cruel. I accused you to your face of only being interested in Wyatt for his money. I called you, my own mother, a gold digger and worse. Refused to attend the wedding, then got myself arrested the night before just to cinch the point. It took me years to understand the obvious. Of course you married him for his money. For my sake, not yours. Before Wyatt, the job you were working didn't even cover food and rent. When you didn't get overtime, we slipped deeper in debt or we went hungry. You literally couldn't afford to spend time at home, let alone pay for childcare or rent a nanny bot. Meanwhile, your son was out of control, a truant and thief, not even out of junior high and already a drug addict. If you'd only had yourself to worry about, I think you would have politely refused Wyatt's interest. You were no stranger to hardship. Compared to what you went through getting out of Kolkata, in 2037, simple poverty probably seemed like a cakewalk. You knew how to survive, but your son didn't. I was headed nowhere at ramming speed. You married Wyatt to save me for the stability and opportunities his money could provide. I wound up working, but not as smoothly as you hoped. Before I could be saved, I had to die first. But that's a story for the amp. find number five okay and then we'll continue i love this game so much this is so in-depth these like first off the vantages are really cool because you get a glimpse of whatever it was at the time um which a lot of these buildings were like very grandiose and you know the the lights and colors and beams like the amphitheater at the red rocks and stuff and then there's a whole story inside of them which i didn't even know all right the gray swarms open for turtle smash the night i od'd here or so the police report said anyway i was 15 years old when i woke in the hospital two days later your face was the first thing i saw Hi, Ma. I don't remember anything about the concert. The bands, the music, the crowd. I was too throttled on Skydive and Snake that night to distinguish the thunder of Bashkor from the roar of blood in my head. And then I ran across a pusher who was selling Razor Wing for eight bucks a tab. That's right, Razor Wing. A certain designer stimulant named after their, a certain late 30s fighter craft that our family had a certain unpleasant association with. So I declined the offer heated the ominous portent and got the heck out of there, right? Or what I did was buy four tabs and take them all at once. Yeah, I did that. According to police report, I went berserk and attacked the pusher, then set fire to his stash, and then <laughs> went after the security drones that showed up. I didn't get far. The drones put 50,000 volts through me, which wouldn't have been such a big deal if my heart hadn't already been hammering along at triple time. The shock flat out killed me. The medbots came fast as they could, but the first glitched out and the second got hung up in the crowd. So I was dead for almost two minutes. And even after they revived me, my condition was touch and go on account of all the substances sloshing through my veins. When I came out of the coma, your face was the first thing I saw. You'd been crying. Your makeup was smudged, dark lines down your, your cheeks. When our eyes met, I expected you to start yelling and weak as I was, I was ready to yell back. Not even a coma could break my defiance. But you didn't yell. 
You quietly asked why it's way in the hall, then pushed your chair right up to the edge of my bed and took my hand. I wanted to jerk my hand back, but I couldn't. It wasn't the strength of your grip that stopped me, but the warmth of your hand, the gentleness with which you took mine. When you spoke, your voice was quiet, just above a whisper. When I lost your Baba seven years ago, you were my only reason to go on living. Your gaze lifted to the medical equipment surrounding us, the tubes and blinking lights. You shook your head. Why do you live like no one loves you? Don't you realize that if you die, all of my hopes and dreams... <sighs> all my hopes and dreams and all the hopes and dreams of your father die with you? You reached and touched my hair and... Like a thunder crack, I broke. Or maybe I was just snapping back together. I lay there sobbing for what felt like years. The whole time, you never took your hand away and I didn't either. The next day, I agreed to go into treatment. I wish I could say I never picked up again, but as we both know, that's not exactly how things turned out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, I think, you know, we read <laughs> we read through a couple. Maybe we go kill somebody really fast. I got on the armor of a chieftain. This one on a great That one okay, that one hit a little too hard. See, I even knew that I should have stopped at four. Who will fight? You could not defend your home against a single warrior? What should I make? This lady doesn't even know what's about to run up there. I told you they would come! Drive her into the dirt! Hello? Oh! I would like to speak to you! It doesn't need to end this way! Somebody on me? Hello? I've not killed one of your tribe before. Either, ma'am. I gave you a chance to talk it out, and you chose no. Ow. Oh my god. Okay, well. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Good, good. I'll dance with your blood. Not today, you won't. If I get hit one headshot, ma'am. Any last words? talked about this huh i even All asked Carter her did was talk talk and bleed talk and shackle me but you you fought like a tanak i'd have taken you for my child you can't just take a child the strong take from the weak weak and in the taking i made stronger these stories pricked into my skin look children riches lives and land all of these have been mine. Drink of my... <laughs> my blood. And I'll live on. Uh, no, thank <gasps> you. No, Ulia. I've... I've got enough stories to carry. True. Okay, we have this epic battle, and all she has are seven shards on her. I did miss all this stuff up top last I'd time. I have to leave something else behind. You do? Why? What about this one? Oh my gosh, I need to sell some stuff. Did the people she had, like, kneeling over here get away? I guess so. Drink blood? No, we are absolutely not drinking that psychopath's blood. <laughs> it was just due to her when she did the hot tomato. It was an accident. Hit her with that line from the diary. Get her just like sobbing, her makeup running. Be like, yeah, that's right. 
instead of a shot, he turned her into a pin cushion. She did not go down easy. That is for sure. All right, I feel like we need to sell some stuff. You're the outlander that stopped the assassin. Son bless you. That was me. Thank you. Hello, merchant. I have once again found myself with too many items. I always keep both of these, but I don't know why. Okay. Go into our resources. We need to make some tough decisions here, people. That's for starters. Smooth ancient charms. Polish ancient charm. Need a couple more of these, even though it doesn't open up a spot. Aha. These are all different lenses, you're telling me? Okay. <laughs> we could maybe take a look at the chill water again. Get rid of this, I'm not using it. Let's get rid of this and this and this. Okay. Better. You know what? Let's get 350 wire, I think. I don't want to have that moment ever again where we run out of wire. You know? jam right <laughs> formally j falcon thank you so much for the follow oops oh man i picked up some stuff okay one last thing what do we think i picked up yes some of these good There's something else in here that I didn't have before, but it is currently, is it this? It's that. And modifications, get rid of the green ones. Cool, okay, next. Continuing on the scenic route, right? This merchant, no, let's, this fire will cut through the woods here. Yeah, I, I just want to avoid the stalker. <laughs> I just want to avoid the stalker area. That's all I'm trying to do. Glad you're enjoying the game. I really liked it. It's really, really good. It's really good so far, and I have somehow, like, I somehow find new things every game that I did not realize was a thing the, like, previous time that I played it. Um. Oh, no, I'm, o I'm okay. I'm just gonna gonna squeeze on by over here. Nobody mind me. I would not worry about me. Perfect. Okay. And now that we're here, 
uh, corrupted zone, part of the scenic route, or should we go to this first and then the corrupted zone? That probably makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. Do we need a fox for something? I feel like we do, right? Save this for later. Okay, hold on. I, I know that we need a fox for something. Just what was it? Is it the sling? Fox skin. Okay. We do need a fox. So we we do totally called for. Totally called for. the door it's pizza the greetings valued cheesy heart customer cheesy heart pizza and subs is proud to present pizza v our new and improved drone delivery system guaranteed no more street drops or roof pizzas guaranteed on target on time surgical strike delivery pizza to your pos in five minutes or free melty hot where the price is not Zip to cheesyheart.hollow and call in the pizza veat. Um, is this thing a pizza veat or is this thing a death bringer? Cause I'm pretty sure I recognize this here. Unfortunate, <laughs> right? Surgical strike. All right, I see you, pizza veat. I see you. Um, this flying. Hey, got another. Pizza Vitz again. Um, pizza or V Eats, sorry. Thanks for registering with V Eats. What's for dinner? Where's dinner? Who's coming to dinner? Up to you. Step one, log into V Eats. Duh. Step two, choose a menu. In the mood for Mexican? Chiming for Chinese? Savoring sushi? Peaked for pizza? Any cuisine, any side, or dessert you dream is yours for the taking, or shall we say eating? Make your selection, and while the food printer is... <laughs> food printer is whipping up your... Uh, vittles? Move on to step three, choose a setting. Where do you want to eat tonight? A 1950s diner? Rocking the jukebox tunes? A Polynesian beach? Where's that cava colada? 
Heck, why stop there? Why not try one of our truly exotic D luxury settings? Fantasy banquet. Whilst watching Dragon Riders Joust, check. Glass bottom halo carrier covering hovering over a raging volcano, checkity check. Step four, choose a skin. Sure, we love our friends and loved ones, but do we really have to stare at them and listen to them every darn meal? With B eats gulp down meets dress up. Is that your boyfriend smacking his lips across the table? Or is that hollow star Ryan Kasabian glowering at you with animal desire? Is that your kid screaming how she wants more nuggets? Or is it that blessedly restrained Madame Curie expounding on the scientific and societal impact of her discoveries? Don't worry. Beat Eats automated systems are just as good at nugget serving and child monitoring as they are at noise canceling. Step five, eat. This part you don't need help with, right? Are we right? Enjoy your V Eats meal experience. Jeepers creepers. <laughs> I feel like I should be sponsored by V Eats. I gave that all the pizzazz I could. <laughs> Gotta eat pizza with Danny DeVito in a 1950s diner? Like, I guess so. Spike, thank you so much for the follow. Um, I feel like this got a little out of control. They literally had too many robots in this world that they were delivering pizzas and stuff while being uh machines of death and destruction Ooh. okay this says capture but i'm also seeing that there's blowy uppy device devices maybe we boom boom I think that's a good step one. Ho there! I thought they'd send soldiers. The mighty Karja Empire must be more strapped than I thought. How sad. No matter, bounty hunters die like the rest. Welcome to my ravine of death. Are you serious? Sadist, murderer, trap maker, all these things. That's why they put me in that stinking hole. Okay. I gotta play your little game then. These out of the way. Careful now. Don't slip. <gasps> oh, come on. Okay. Yes. I missed. Oh, I'm curious. I don't suppose those behemoths I called to the prison killed Geneva. You're gonna be disappointed. Yeah. That's why I have my toys. Distract me from the pain. Oh, good. Am I able to climb up on this? Go through your little tunnel of death here. Not yet, little acrobat. Whoopsie. Jump. Oops. That was sketchy. Now it's the other way, into the ravine. What? It's the other way? This way? Are you sure, game Aloy? This seems questionable. <gasps> Fall 
follow the pretty green lanterns? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. But Fingers you're not on. on fire yet. No, I see your little... Persistent, aren't you? Yes, sir. Oh, no. Am I supposed to go that way? I did see some this way, though. I'm quite persistent, sir. Okay. Let's see. Easy does it. Mind your fingers. <laughs> Wait, do I need to drop in there? still doing okay it's the riddler this is this guy's like a wannabe somehow he found a uh an artifact uh no oh come on was i crouching when did that happen he found an artifact of like an old batman magazine i was like hmm yes right shouldn't i be able to jump you got me. No more traps. Tell Geneva I'll be a good boy from now on. You expect me to believe that? What's in your hand? <laughs> oh, this? Well, just a little... Oops. <sighs> I guess he died doing what he loved. Do we really believe that guy just died, though? I'm sorry. I just, like... I don't buy it. See a body? I'm not buying anything. I don't even know. This is the right way. That's where I was over there. This is the way I was gonna go initially, but then I went like around the back. I don't know, well, now I'm curious where this goes. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was wild. Hmm. <laughs> like one of those failed magic trips. He totally thought it was gonna be like a smoke smoke bomb or something and then it ends up uh ends up being a real bomb and he's just like dang nave I, I thought i grabbed the smoke bomb oopsies doing what you love and never work a day <laughs> and never work a day in your life or something along those lines corrupted glint hawks oh no ick Okay, well, how do I get up there now? This way? Make my own way up? Oh, they're on the ground. 
around. Well, this is even worse news, I guess. Do I think I can safely fight them up here? Not, not really with my place. Okay. We're gonna try our best. you from afar now they're hunting me I knew you'd come back for pizza tonight you have the wrong address not sure what's happening if i'm not supposed to be up here fighting oh it's a little too far huh how about this Low and quiet does it. These guys are running scared right now. Okay. When I came over here, you guys came back. Fun. Dang. Come on, Ray. 
anticipate where they're going to be. I do need to figure out how to actually get down. Oh, wait. One of the birds is, like, over there. I don't think I'm making it over there. Okay. Let's concentrate on getting down safely from this place that I'm not sure I'm supposed to be at. They're scanning. Me. Let's go grab. definitely feel like I'd choose this a little bit but then they shouldn't have made it harder <laughs> they should have made it harder to climb up those rocks that they were trying to make difficult to climb okay well cleared uh continuing on the scenic route of course We're gonna go to the campfire, save. I have a feeling we need to, er, actually, let's open these now. Perfect. Uh, Ghost Face Kitty? Thank you so much for the follow. There's no cheesing in open world games. Creative problem solving. I like that bookkeeper, yes. I agree. I mean, there were flying machines that definitely could have uh, came up top and got me, but they just didn't. How, do, how did you end up this way, my friend? Delivering pizzas. There was like... There was like classes of uh, death and destruction robots or something like that. That was like a, a C class death bringer. <laughs> hey everyone, how's the scenic route going? It's very scenic, no plans. And there's, you know, weirdly enough, there have been a ton of things that we've needed to do on the scenic route, so. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't tip people. They end up having death and destruction robots. <laughs> end up having death and destruction robots deliver your pizza. Is that what you want? No. If you had volleyballs for weapons, you would have already spiked them all to death. Oh, would have been one shots. One shots. Even without playing volleyball for over a year, still got... <sighs> I think uh, with a little little warm up, little WD forty, we could we could do a thing or two. <sighs> okay, I feel like I need to sell something. Oh, it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, next up, let's go to this little thing here. Yes, this scenic route definitely goes up along the water and then down to the network for sure. Hmm? Uh, I 
think I must be missing something because this just looks like a straight up climb up the face of a mountain. Hey, Ray, question for you. Bring it on. Uh, just got the game. Any tips for a beginner? Ooh. What is something that I would tell beginner me? I would tell beginner me to explore different ammo types sooner. And if that doesn't make sense to you now, it will. <laughs> oh. They're better. Exactly. Oh, I don't think there's an elevator, people. Yeah, no. It's not looking good on the whole elevator front. But I'm so glad you got this game. <laughs> Just don't get hit. Also helpful. Uh, learn how to make potions sooner. this we're we're actually doing this this is what we're actually doing oh goodness oh goodness is this where we die sorry Aloy I don't know uh, apparently this is the way friendly please be friendly those usurpers in meridian will learn of the sun's harshness we'll show them hey what are you guys doing all the way up here evening sign hello you guys just got a little Got a little settlement up here at the top of the falls. Ooh, so peaceful. Honestly, the Nora go hardcore climbing, they would love it here. Have like the only way you can make it back to uh, back to your bed to to sleep softly at night is to climb up to scale up the side of a waterfall. Imagine doing all that and forgetting your house keys in your car. Exactly. Don't go to the DLC without the best weapons. That's That seems fair, that seems fair. Um, I feel like it took me a really long time to upgrade my weapons. Um, which made combat for me much more difficult for like a really long time. Hey, all right. So scenic route takes us here, 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 and then here. Awesome. Maruv, thank you so much for the follow. Isn't this area the prettiest? I'm, I'm so jealous of this whole thing. Like you just wake up, it's kind of a nightmare to get up here, but once you are, I probably wouldn't leave. Ex yes, exactly. It's great for retirement. You just have to retire while you're in good enough shape to get up here. Wouldn't that be so great if this is the only area of the map that like there are no killer machines? That'd be kind of cool. got these like pretty bridges and these lovely lovely little streams yeah this is nice and moment's over because I see a machine I see two machines actually and 
I need to get to this ancient vessel, so that's not good news for us. Isn't there a mountain in China where the school kids basically do that? They climb a mountain to go to school. Oh my god. This game is so beautiful. It really is 10 cap. Like, uh, I have, I constantly have these appreciation moments, especially during sunrise and sunfall. It's just the beauty. <laughs> you wake up, kill a stalker or two. I would take anything besides stalkers here. Uh, forget Mr. Sawtooth. Some fire. Yeah, the problem with you over there and me over here is that you have something I want over there. Another one? Summer sale. Yum now. The yum now summer sale starts right now. Yum now. Hey, fitness buffs. How's that summer six pack coming? Need a little extra boost? Yum now loaded protein cartridges are 30% off through July 15th. Yum now loaded protein cartridges are made from 100% all natural weight protein. And talk about easy, just install in any Yum Now nutritional printer and you'll be on the fast track to the real beach, real bod you always wanted. Yum Now, leave Avatar. Oof. Okay, well, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure about the last sentence now. <laughs> so many ads. What has the stream become? <laughs> 10 cap in Kenya. Thank you so much for the follow. The bloodlust must be sated. Oh, I forgot. I could have. Okay, that would have been an awesome place for an override. 
Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not ad. <laughs> Unsubscribe from Yum Now Now. <laughs> Congrats on the sponsorship. We are not sponsored by Yum Now uh, protein cartridges. I think we're all set. Fox? Mr. Fox! Can I please have your skin? Oh, come on, come on. Skin, 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 skin. Dang it. I even asked nicely. You guys, you guys saw. I asked nicely and he still wouldn't. That's not on us. <laughs> you already, oh no. What if Pizza Vite finds out that we're also sponsored by Yum Now? Uh oh, we we could be in, in some trouble. Are there any lawyers in the chat? Is there any chance I could be in trouble? <sighs> Do we need a rabbit? I think we need a rabbit, right? I don't remember what part of the rabbit we need, but hopefully we just get it, you know? Rabbit bone? No. Okay, you know what? This, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the L on this one. We actually did not need a rabbit. We need fox skin and raccoon bone. That's on me. My apologies, everyone. Um, I, listen, it's a case of mistaken identity. I should have checked. Oh, I can upgrade my weapon satchel, though. Okay, but, but hold on a minute. It will not be in vain because we're going to upgrade our satchel, which required two rabbit bone, and we just so happen to have two. So watch this. And a rabbit skin. No part of no part of that rabbit just went to waste. I hope everybody just saw that. Every single piece of the floof was used. Hey. Ooh, do not ignore. Everybody listen up. Do not ignore. Do not ignore this message. You've been chosen to receive a free starter pack of Satisfy. Congratulations. You've been selected to receive a free sample of the revolutionary new dietary supplement Satisfy. The amazing sa satiating effect of Satisfy is made possible by the latest innovations in the exciting scientific field of microbe nutrition. One satisfied tablet is packed with enough essential protein, fat, vitamins, and minerals to replace a full meal. No time for lunch? You still time for satisfy? Take satisfy on business trips and avoid overpriced vertiport eateries. Reply to this message and we'll send you your free starter pack of Satisfy today. Act now and we'll throw in a pack of new Satisfy Alert. All of the micro nutritional benefits of Satisfy plus the stimulant effects of two doses of Caffey Ho. They are just pouring in. You know what happened? We, we reached... 3,000 followers on Twitch. That happened. I missed when that happened, but that happened. And now, now we literally cannot get away from sponsors. It's, it's actually pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, so it seems like there's a Banook figure nearby okay that seems like a reasonable place for it to be huh walk down here 
a little. We're going down fast. No, we're not. Nope, we're going down at a totally reasonable speed. Okay, before we grab this... Others, I am a cafeo. <laughs> the scenery on the Cedar Route is A plus. This this right here is exactly this is what we were looking for. Looks like one of those Banuk sculptures. Ooh, okay. Banuk artifact, I cannot confess. Tech two. There is so much I would confess to you, but one thing I cannot. I did not kill Signac, our chieftain, who claimed to be your father. That night, I was alone in my tent, drunk with cold wine, dreaming as I always did, of Ely, your mother, and her sunset smile. You will never hear my testament, and my offering will never touch the warmth of your hands. But I paint my mark in the light of truth. I know what I am guilty of and what I am not. I hope against hope that in your heart, you know the same okay so he well he's at least saying that he doesn't kill signac i don't know i kind of get a weird feeling that but why would ely kill him unless she was just pretending to be super upset when he was dead I don't know if Ely would do it either. Hmm. Oh, look at this little hut here. Okay, this is gonna be a really lazy thing to do. I'm gonna fast travel and then I wanna go to this teeny tiny little hut out here. <laughs> CSI Meridian. We gotta gather up all the clues. We need to reread through all of the clues. Cause I think somewhere, somewhere in there. Hey, what's this? Uh. There's gonna be something. A clue we missed. A piece of the puzzle. Not yet put together. Uh. <laughs> really want to climb to the top of this. Let's see if this is where this little house is. <laughs> I think I need Ravengers, right? No! No, no, no! Not my good ammo! What have, what have I done? Oh, gosh. Okay. 
Oh, these are scrappers. Well, my bad. Uh, those guys probably did not have to die there. But it's probably safer that they did. <laughs> uh, Aloy outfit change couldn't resist to show off the abs. You know, I I thought we we've really been working hard. Uh, you know, doing our exercises every day, lots of cardio. I felt we could let them shine for for just a little bit. Um, you know. Obviously, if the environment and conditions don't really, you know, she starts to get a little cold, we can cover up, but. Random little building. Is the only thing out here? Seems odd, but okay. Okay, on our way. <laughs> Felt com yes, her confidence had grown. When I played, I would match the outfits to the local tribe. Were you rich, bookkeeper? I like. I finally have a couple of shards to my name that I was able to buy the one outfit that I had been dreaming of. Everybody respawn over there. Just like hit 
minute period, Ray. Damn. I know. I know. It's so hard. Just show me your gullet. But you know what? It's it's not about the destination. It's about the journey and what we learned. Oh my god! I'm just I'm just I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, perfect. before I make an even bigger fool of myself. Ooh, we need one more Ravenger. Hey, what is this little place? getting any cooler hello ah the machine riding nora with the special spear how lucky to come across you i have a proposal come closer call me fernand uh what are you looking at hey fernand my eyes are up here i'm looking at your spear it's magnificent but you. how does it work you stick the pointy end into the machine. Yes, but how does it turn foe into friend? It's simple, really. Yes? You wouldn't understand. Mm. Oh. Got him. What is your proposal? Okay, Fernand. What's your proposal? During the reign of that idiot Kaija King, outlanders often hid items of value from raiders. Well, I found one. Go on. What is it? A relic from the old ones. You probably would understand it better than I do. Unfortunately, it's too high for me to reach. Uh-huh, and you want me to get it for you? What a brilliant plan! You're a much better climber than I am, to be sure. Get it, bring it back, 
and we'll split the proceeds. Hmm. How about I see what it is first? That works too. What do you do? What Fernand? do you do exactly? I'm a trader of fine tinkerings. I buy low, sell high. But in this case, you wouldn't be buying. Sometimes I find tinkerings as well. Oh, I see. Find. I don't think she likes this guy. I'm so, eyes off the abs, Cree. We have noticed more creepiness with the new outfit. Yeah, exactly. He's he's a scammer. He's a tinkerer that finds things. All right. Let's say I'm interested. What do I need to do? The relic rests on the rise of Dusk Mesa. Bring it to me at the Meridian Docks, and we will both profit. We'll see about that. A curious proposal. Where is this at? Oh, man. It's still technically on the scenic route, is the thing. Find Gavon. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a lot of things here that we need to do. Okay. Sure. I like this place. I like the design of the buildings. Like, I don't Since know. Since came through here, the inn seems like a good place to start asking. See, I'm searching the water. For what? O okay, what's wrong? Has someone fallen in? No. Have you seen a girl of about 17 and... I can't even say it. Are you afraid she jumped to her death? I don't know. Elida. Uh, my only daughter. Okay. She's gone. Uh... Unusual? Has she done or said anything unusual? She's been like a different person. She used to be such a happy girl, playing in the dirt with the boys. What changed? I don't know. She disagrees with me about everything. Hates the ceasefire. Thinks we never should have fought the war to begin with. It's been a month since I've seen her smile. She spends so much time in her room. I should have paid more attention. Did something happen during the war that upset her? The war upset us all. The cruelty, the mad Sun King, the blood on the streets. When Edaman's men fled, they stormed through here. There's a ceasefire now, of course, but Alita broods about it more than ever. It bothers her that our people are so divided. Where was she last seen? Where did you last see her? Just last night, in the house. She seemed better was she ill she seemed withdrawn sad so i was pleased when she wanted to go out in the garden that's the last i saw of her who search? else is searching for her i demanded the guards look for her but i can't put my hope in them they say girls run off all the time at this age not my alita i reached out to her friends but they say they haven't seen her in weeks weeks how could I not know? But they will look for her. I've searched everywhere, and then I thought maybe she might be here, in the water. By the sun! I'll help look. I'm a good tracker. I could look for her. Where did you last see her? In our garden. Please, maybe you'll find something I missed. I'll do my best. May the sun light your way. Thank you, sir. Okay. 
We've got a lot of things to do here. Oh wait, there's another... Okay, before we search for his daughter, there's another exclamation point. We're gonna real quick. When you're in the thick of it. Maybe this is related. Need the rest. Hello. I barely turn a profit even in the best of times, especially since I usually hand out what I can to those in need. Would you care for some fruit? Better enjoy it before someone runs off with the rest of it. Has someone been stealing from you? Yes, almost every night. Not enough to force me to close shop, but definitely enough to hurt. Uh, any clues? Have you found any sign of the thief? Just a couple of old rinds near the storehouse. Not much to go on. Guards? Why haven't the guards looked into it? The guards blame the wildlife, but I doubt they believe it. I guess they have more to worry about than a woman and her livelihood. Suspects? Is there anyone you suspect? I've known most people here since childhood. None of them strike me as a food thief. You want to talk about other vices, however? Well, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Love the chopsticks in your headband look. I, she's trying to start something, and for that, gotta give her I props. I know how to track. I could look for the thief. Really? Thank you. You could start in my storehouse by the river. Someone must be desperate to steal rather than just ask me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, but we can't do that Would right like now because there's a missing wares. girl. Check out these wares. Don't look to me for help. This my guy has the look. brightest shirt I on. Nora when I was a child. All I remember now is how heavy her bow was. Oh, it's so bright. Okay. Search in the garden. Search in the garden. What if these are related? Looks like Alita left a few things behind. The only justice Derval deserves is at the tip of a spear. Behind? Karja had been working here since the spire cast a shadow on the mesa. Examine the bottle. Bottle? Ugh, it smells like ash or rotten eggs. I better pour that out. Ew. Aren't these for spying far away? Why would you need a spy glass in the garden? Mm -hmm. I guess she was doing some gardening. Or burying something something buried no something dug up mm -hmm. must have left a trail by the sun i'll be beat by the time this is done that crazy asaram tried to kill our sun king till the machine rider okay don't look to me for help my duty is to guard. I don't get involved in politics. Should be flower out there petals. Machines, huh? Why would she take flowers from her own garden? Wait, did I miss? I know. I guess I walked over them. Why would she take flowers from her own garden? Fair. Did you find anything in the garden? Nothing definite yet. I'll let you know. Oh, oh my gosh, what if she is actually stealing from this other lady? Like living in her storehouse or something. Between the assassin and our son King. The Asaram have gone too far this time. Their vault should die for his crimes. Excuse me. Alright, isn't this this lady's uh storage place the lady with the thief the petals end here at the water could her father have been right but at the wrong place ropes to tie up a boat that isn't here 
Maybe she took the boat to that island over there. Looks like I'm in for a long swim. Oh, why do we gotta swim in scary water? Try to find the shortest distance here. Okay, I see what it is. There's some fans in my PC that are like freaking out. They're like flashing different colors. Long neck. Wait, do I know that there's a long neck there? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Well, that's fine. Ooh. <laughs> Use your witcher senses, Aloy. Everything that I've taught you. This is, this is not giving me warm and fuzzy feelings on the inside. I also don't see a boat. we're gonna find on here huh it did look like there were snap maws kind of nearby but the boat this looks promising okay is that you listen keep quiet until the beast is dead Trained professional. There is no need to panic. I will save you. Okay, hold on. This is uh, not great. Stay back. It's not safe. Yeah, I know. Professionals, lady. Didn't even break a sweat. Or panic. Hello? Who are you? How did you learn to fight like that? What are you even doing here? Maybe you can start by answering a few of my questions. Island? Or flowers. Flowers? Why did you bring flowers here? No real reason. I'm trying to make this a place for us. For all of us. Who's us? us? Yeah. Is there someone else here? No. No. I was going to surprise my friends with what I made. There's no one else here, obviously. Hmm. What are you doing on this island? I come here to be alone. Do you know your father fears you're dead? <laughs> I'm surprised he even noticed I was gone. He has the whole village looking for you. He's worried. The... The snap maw kept me. You took care of it, so thank you. I should be fine now. Uh, it's time for us to go back. Let's go back to the village together. I need to finish planting my garden. Just a little more time. I'll be fine, I promise. You know, I think I'll take a little more time, too, to look around. You don't need to do that. I really do. I think I do. Let me Bedrolls. see. Two of them. Why would one person need two bedrolls? We better investigate the supply crate. Hmm. Let's see. 
a watcher. Interesting. something at the bedrolls. In a set of cups. She must not have been alone here. <laughs> Looks like Alina and has a friend. And they were roommates. <laughs> Headshot. The real question is why do two lovers need two bedrolls? Okay. Alright. Even better question. Yeah, I'm now more confused than I was when I walked over here and saw the two. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, that looks nice. All right, listen up. I got some questions. Elita, if you came here to be alone, why are there two bedrolls? And don't lie to me this time. Mm -mm. Um. Uh. Oh, by the sun, I don't know where he is. Who? A troll. He lights a fire signal when it's safe to meet him, but he's not here. Well, then it must have been not safe to meet him then, huh? Who's a troll? Who's a, troll? a friend I've known since childhood. I'd be planting in the garden and he'd dump worms down my back. I hated that. Well, is that what you but kids the last call few months it these meet days? Here and everything was different. Two bros sitting on the We talked for hours. Bucket. He helped me plant that garden. <laughs> I couldn't wait to see him again. It's like I'm dead and only come alive when I'm here with him. Do you know what that's like? I can't say that I do. No, we feel dead inside all the time. <laughs> Some romantic backworms. Mm hmm. Okay, I see you, Horizon Zero Dawn. I see what. No. Why keep this all secret? Yeah, why not tell your Charles dad? I was a soldier for the Karja in Shadow. Stationed at the outpost across the lake. Ah, okay. It's treason for us to even meet. How could I tell my father? How could I tell anyone? Well, now we kind of Well, then how did from. you two arrange to meet here? We came here as kids. After he left, I would come back sometimes. One day, I surprised him here. He smiled from ear to ear. We sat and played like we had as kids, but... War had changed him. Changed us both. We weren't kids anymore. We started meeting in secret. He'd, he'd light a fire to signal it was safe for him to leave his post at the Citadel, but... Last night... He didn't come? I've been waiting all night and all day. I haven't seen anyone but you. Well... <sighs> Enough of this. You, you have go to go back. back. I'll figure Please. out what happened. If you came all this way, will you look for a troll? He lit the fire on the island not far from here. If I go, he could be killed. We could break the ceasefire. But Honora wouldn't. I... I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm so sorry. I'll find him if I can, as long as you go home to your father. I will. But please come find me there. I can't sleep. I can't breathe knowing a troll could be out there. Hurting. CSI bright market. Maybe he decided to drive on the other side of the road. Let's, uh... Oh, I don't... Could we maybe take a boat this time? Or can I walk to get around? Or... Just a long swim. We'll swim fast. Been working on our stamina. Been working on our abs. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what we got here. What do you guys think? Is the troll gonna be dead? Or... They, like, found him out and somebody else lit this fire? Okay. 
Here's what's left of the fire. Looks like some sort of scuffle, ending with someone being dragged away. My goodness, Aloy could easily be an Olympic swimmer. It's this new super aerodynamic uh, uh, armor or outfit that we have for sure. Aloy trusts no boat more than she trusts her own huge biceps and and very spelt abs. All right, not that I think we're gonna get into any trouble, but I just feel like we should maybe have our, uh... Hey, speak up or I'll cut off your other finger. Who were you signaling? <laughs> that must be a troll. To hear him talk. Hard to believe that thing fought alongside us. I tell you, traitors. Quite are a few everywhere. guards there. I don't know about that. Maybe there's another way in. Sure. As soon as it gets a little hard, people give up. Want to do the easy thing instead of the right thing. Listen to him. Doesn't sound easy. He's been at it for an hour. I guarantee you can lift that fire to signal his malignant out to come and save him. Meridian has had its time in the Pretender King's son. I'm really sorry. grab this while I can. Someone here? No. Are you gonna hide like a coward or come out and fight? Whoa! Uh, oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Why did I fall all the way? Okay. Um, I can explain. I can explain. You guys are gonna think this whole thing is so silly. By the way, I just... One at a time, Ray. One at a time. And F. And F. And shoot. And miss. And shoot. And hit. And roll. Listen, I would... This is in the name of love, please. Okay, you know what? Melee, not our strong suit. Get down! Kill me. I will break you! You know what? Nobody worry about Am that done? huge Am I done? gray square in the sky. Ah! I wouldn't I worry. I'm down! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Oh, oh god. Okay, maybe, maybe. And one hit. You. I haven't even meleeed this whole game, and you guys are losing to me. It's embarrassing. Good thing I'm saving this kid. I mean. I am here. 
here oh, in the name of love. And I think that's something that, you know, we all can just relate to and... Sorry, sir. I... I'm trying to hit headshots and... I don't know. I feel like this this really could have gone better. You, you guys ever have that feeling of like, yeah, wish this could have went better. Grant me victory. No. Ow. Yes. Okay, the name of this of this professional tactic maneuver is sometimes it do be like that. <laughs> Which one of these people you murdered was a No, he's not dead. He's just being held somewhere, right? Hold on. Hold. Hold. We may have to run this back. A troll? Are you a troll? Alita sent me. Alita? I was gonna ask her to leave with me. To go into the Outlands. Somewhere out in the sun where no shadow could reach us. But we wouldn't have made it. They would have followed me. I know now. Uh, the Alita. The good news is that they're all dead now. Uh, tell her they never learned about our island she's safe give her this tell her it's worth it you're not gonna die a troll <sighs> poor a troll and poor alita I didn't get here soon enough. Oh no. They got one last good kick in. So I recall when I did this, I reloaded the save and went full cell, trying to get him before they killed him. But they still end up killing him. <laughs> they still end up killing him, right? I mean, not in a good way, but just in a way of like, listen, I can't have this on my conscience if... I even tried, this is what happens when I try to do stealth. This is, I don't know how many times I've tried to do stealth and it always ends up in chaos and more people dead than if I had just gone in guns ablazing. Okay. Wait, still ends in tragedy? Like a different tragedy or? Hold on, does she go back to the island? No. Is it lame if I pass? <laughs> to be fair, your version of stealth is standing out in the open and firing away. If 
if that no good guard wasn't just randomly at the top of the stairs. Also, I did a stealth kill and everyone was like, huh? Huh? And still came and found his body. I don't know how that happens. Stealth kill, but... I'm calling shenanigans on it. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna fast travel. <laughs> so stealth not this equal Gavon running and yelling. I'm here in the name seems like a good of place love. to start asking. It was partially um I could not remember. Wait, what's happening? Uh I couldn't remember what's the line from Sailor Moon? Fox. We need a fox. Oh no. Oh no. Well, maybe I should use one of these on it. Where'd it go? Hello? Did y'all see a fox run through here just a second ago? Oh my gosh, somehow juked me. Alright, well, good on him, I guess. <laughs> no, no one not come that far. You go if you're lost. I'm a guard, not the town crier. Elita came back. She hugged me, said she loved me, but now she just sits in the garden, like she's waiting. Waiting for what? Something's not right. Maybe you can talk to her. I think I gotta talk to her. I'll, uh, do my best. Meridian. Just the look. <sighs> Couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Okay. That's why you booby trap the body. I keep telling everyone, then they yell something about explosives being loud. Nah. Maybe a card. She likes flowers. Maybe we could go get a quick bouquet of flowers, or... <laughs> this dude has literally never heard of boys. Well... think uh... hey there kid hey kiddo don't say it I know he's gone good that I don't the have shadow to say card it you found him but you should know he never betrayed you he wanted you to have this key it's the key that Balaki gave me he said our lives were locked together thank you for bringing it back for all you did for us. He said it was worth it. All of it. Are you all right? No. But I will be soon. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Elita, no. Look at me. Okay, she seems very driven by emotions. So maybe I could go with the you're not alone thing. There's more at stake. I I feel like a big like a, a big brain thing isn't gonna translate with her. Alright. If you were going through a heartbreak when you were 17 years old. Do an origami flapping crane. I think that really would have helped. <laughs> hey, at least you. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have a uh, yum now. Just drop off some pizza and flowers. Hey, have you heard of yum now hashtag ad? You can pretend for the rest of your life that you're sitting there eating dinner with him. Hmm? <laughs> a big brain thing isn't gonna translate as being awfully polite let's go with you're not alone we might say something about like us and we've gone through heartbreak right and now we're here as like you know a, a butt kicking 
strong, independent woman. Here's a focus try, plenty of fish. Be like, listen, uh, I've walked through all of these towns around here. You're gonna be just fine, honey. You're one of the cutest girls I've seen. Cutie guys that aren't part of like Shadow Karja or whatever. Like, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. Look at me. I I can't imagine how you're feeling, but you don't have to go it alone. Your father was crushed when he thought you right. were dead. True. Crushed. He still treats me like a perfect doll. His prized possession. No. With the trawl gone, I'm all alone. It isn't worth it. Wait, Elita. I was wrong about what a trawl said. He didn't say it was worth it. He said it is worth it. All of it. Good catch, good catch. Our losses can feel overwhelming, but they remind us of our connections to others, to a trawl, even to your father. A trawl would have wanted you to remember that and go on. I know it. Now, will you? I. I'll try. Mm. Please. Let me get your father. Will you talk to him? I guess. Alright, cool. Maybe we're getting some here. You know, I'm not liking the whole I'll try. Seems a little... I should have given you a token for your kindness in finding Alita. Is... Something wrong? Alita mm -hmm. needs you to listen. Right now. Go to the garden. Quickly. Uh, I will. At, at once. Run. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. I'm a guard, not the town crier. It's about a trial, Father. He and I were together. And alert. I didn't want you to... A trial? <laughs> yes. I remember him. From when you two are no taller than the flowers in your mother's garden. He went west. They never found out about us. He didn't tell them. Even when they... Oh, Elite. Damn All that time spent writing edicts, I thought... Keep my eyes open. I thought my work was keeping you safe from this war. It was all just parchment. And I could have lost you. I'm so sorry, Father. I wish I'd known. All this time, what you were going through. But we'll... I'll be better. Thank you for this second chance. Let's go. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy. But it's decent work keeping the city safe. Okay, I don't know. Seems a little... You have no need to loiter around here. Sun's coming up. <laughs> like they can't see the redhead eavesdropping in the bushes. Let let's see no how good our cover is. Oh no, we're we're blending right in. We'll we'll give him a little let's give him a little space. <laughs> this is the only time stealth has worked. Or maybe it didn't work and that's why they randomly just stopped talking. It's a storehouse. <sighs> do we do these or do we start making our way? We should leave these for now. Okay, we're gonna fast travel. Metal flower. And then we're gonna get here. Okay. Cause I make it good on my promise. We're doing the thing. About as invisible as a stalker as its cloaking device has been torn off. I don't there was those little like 
birds of paradise looking flowers or whatever. Uh, I think it was fine. I think it was fine. Do we think if I fast travel here, metal flower location, maybe? I'd say we try it. Have you noticed that almost every main character on this game tries to hit on A-Line? Um, yes. And it is quite... It's a little off-putting. I've noticed that it happens more now that our abs are totally out, but I don't know. <laughs> My dad died and I'm just refusing to process that works for me. I just take it out of machines around me. Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone tells you the worst thing that's ever happened to them? <laughs> As though it makes it easier. That is true. And Aloy actually didn't even do that this time. She was just like... She was just like, listen. Uh... If you kill yourself, your dad is gonna be pretty... Wait, do we need a bunny? No, right? Sure, blame the abs. Clearly, it's the person. Yes, her bright and shine. Maybe they're into that though. Like her little like sassiness. People are like, "Made yeah, them soon okay. enough." Quaint and olden, one who dwelleth by the castled rhyme. When he called the flowers so blue and golden, stars that in earth's firmament do shine. Stars they are, wherein we read our history, as astrologers and seers of eld, yet not wrapped about with awful mystery like the burning stars which they beheld. Wondrous truths and manifold as wondrous, God hath written in those stars above, but not less in the bright flowerets under us stands the revelation of his love. Spake full well, and both by the castle shrine. And you the flowers of the most Okay, I'm not sure if this one is, maybe this one is a little more religious, whereas others have kind of been, like, I got the vibe that they were being written to, they were like romantic, I don't know. To be fair with apps like that, how could you not? Honestly, truth. Yeah, uh, some of the poetry, and I don't like when they're not on that A-B-A-B -A -B rhyming. It just sort of bothers me. Listen, women that could kill me are a hard yes. I get it. She just gives that vibe of, like, uh, kind of like that lady. The one that was, like, oh, oh. Do we think the chargers will just leave us alone? Maybe if I slide in.
seems kind of like an odd place for a uh, 5G tower. Ooh, I wonder, do you ever go to the tops of whatever? Probably. It'd be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. Nobody's looking for us. Hello. You're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? I feel like it's gonna be Wait. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Like, why is there gotta be torrential downpour? So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just listen in. It's a very convenient merchant, though. Alright. Oof. Yeah. Okay. What do we get rid of here? Charm. Oh, I have extra fox bones. That's sad. Alright. Oh, yeah. I picked up just some of these things. Easy peasy. Get rid of these. Modifications. Goodbye. A couple extra. I think of these, maybe. Normally have like 31, so I have some extras in here. I'm just not sure where. Okay. Uh, so now we need. Yeah, get get back up to 350 wire. And get up on our potions. I have two skills. Is there anything I can upgrade? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I'm trying to go down this. Balanced aim I could get for two right now. But how often am I doing that, you know? Vlad, thank you so much for the hydrate. <laughs> Torrential downpour for the vibes. Yeah, definitely not to add that extra layer of like Hmm, slippery handholds on a sheer wall, like whatever that means. I'm sure that's gonna be just fine. Rock collection is coming along nicely. Aloy has a thing for rocks. That that's not on me. It's her. She just enjoys it. She asks for very little, so I let her do the rocks thing.
There are the handholds, right where you said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. Oh, silence! I get it now. More accurately, <laughs> Loy has a thing for hoarding. No, no, I'm, I'm saying her. I'm saying it's all on her. I'm the only thing keeping this thing clean and tidy. Oh my god, I'm studying to be a data scientist right now. How do you like your job? I love my job, honey. It's not even what I initially went to school for, which is how you know I really do like it. I just ended up here. Uh... All right, what now? Yeah, wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. When night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. Okay. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that. And the focus network will crash. So you were part of the eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. Hmm. But it is the case that I assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. Mm -hmm. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. Sure. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. <laughs> wow, okay. Honey Change, thank you so much for the follow. Campfire chats with silence. We'll see if that becomes a thing. I don't have a lot of time tonight, but I'll hop on and chat about that. Data science with you another time. Oh, awesome. Sounds good, honey. <laughs> Posturing to intimidate a hologram. I think it worked because he ended up leaving, so. Let's see what's through here. What if he's leading us into a trap? Right? This seems kind of trappy. Can you override corrupted machines? Oh, let's see. No, you cannot. Corrupted machines. Oh my God. More like soldiers. Held in reserve for a war yet to come. You'll have to get past them. This is the easy way in? The back way in. I didn't say it'd be easy. Uh... Are we allowed to still kill them, or...? No, kill them.
must fight the urges to just murder them all. I feel like I need some silent strikes, right? Like maybe here? Where did the chicken go? But I didn't walk. Oh wait, is this one gonna see this one though? Uh, I should close in silent strike. Strike gonna one hit the chicken though? I feel like probably not. But I also kind of feel like I have to try. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. Oh yeah, big explosions don't concern us.
I go the wrong way? I feel like I went the right way. It's like right there. Now, head for that ridge. We had a little oopsie moment. Why is this boar gotta be here? Talk to your friend about it. Just to be safe, just to be safe, we'll Here let us. No, 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 no. We're gonna let his little, his little countdown thing run out. don't think that we can one-shot silent strike these guys, you know? The toll neck's just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Oh, now yeah? be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Okay. Here we go. What? You getting this? See the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. <sighs> so much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Mm -hmm. Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. Yep. And these Eclipse Troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the Tall Neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. My first night off the Shadow Shift in a whole week. Tall Neck. I've worked my fingers red. Where's the next patch of tall grass? The more we dig for the ancient machines, the stronger we grow. Our time is coming soon. I see, I see, you see the things in there? Oh, it's across on the other side. Might have a man down. The ground here looks churned up. Oh. Drag marks leading towards that gate. The, skate? the gate's barred. No getting past that. Oh. You'll have to find another way. You think? Okay, I. I don't want to say I'm panicking quite yet, but. Everything is gonna be fine. Was probably natural Can causes. Breathe again. Yeah, that guy probably died of natural causes. I mean, that still happens to people here, right? Sci 
silent. Still silent. Sure. No. Whoa, how did I miss? Get true if you don't fight. Listen, this is all a huge misunderstanding. I don't even want you. I'm looking Stay for. Her. Please stop. Whoa. Just stop. Listen. Okay. You know what? Still pretty Is silent. Is up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. Any more health potions? Okay, you know what? I still think we can count this as a stealth run. So... All those guys just died of natural causes is all. Loot box. No space. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. A mural of Meridian and a spire. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcome me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed, how its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the frying embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw up in the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor. Determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body, stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Oh, that's romantic. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this. But instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the chosen of the sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself or another. I had some stuff going on, you know? When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the chosen of the sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. A whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than sun and faith. All forces must combine, all halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn. For without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. My lord, 
the 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Osaram filth topple the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end, but it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. This armor... There is only one man big enough to wear this. Helis. This is his shelter. Not exactly fancy. What did you so expect long as Kat Itaman languishes at Sunfall, caught by his mother. So you he will him. never learn the true Just lessons of the sun. Apologies. Okay, sorry, that stopped everything. My bad, my bad. I was trying to stop just the audio, but then it stopped Silence and Aloy's conversation. That really stinks. That's the one I'm in right now. So long as King Itaman languishes at Sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him. But the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring. But he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a sun king must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? I'm just Kyle. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. King Itaman. Something's sending a signal. Alert. Irregular transmission source near. Have I ever heard that voice? He's a fanatic, all right. 
single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that Tolnik? It would not have been easy to drive a Tolnik down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module, and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. Yeah, I feel like this is a trap. I feel like I'm walking into a trap. I, I can't shake the feeling. I don't know. I mean, yeah, there it is, but... Alert. Irregular data flow near. Security may be compromised. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Agreed. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. gonna be uh-oh spaghettios but like how bad is uh-oh spaghettios gonna be you know i see the module good now be quick this this is hades Aloy, this is not the time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Calculated. We're uh, we're just gonna run it back. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Okay, where where is this ledge? Oh, I see. I see it. Trail. Oh god, no, I, I'm not on the thing. No, no. Okay, hold on. Gravity is the only thing. Gravity is the only thing. Moving. Hold on, I'm not even on my health. Okay, now we can go. No way. Keep moving. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Great trail. Help, help, get up. Good. This looks easy. Okay. Almost out of it. Are you kidding me? Don't fight. Run. I'm running. I'm running. 
running. Try <sighs> what? Head left towards the camp. Got it. Almost there. The whole base is on high alert. Yep. Yeah, I, I noticed. noticed. Keep running. Watch out for eclipse. Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? Yep, he did. I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Alright, so what does this say? Deep Secrets of the Earth. Aloy explores the ancient ruins beneath the Citadel and unravels the unbelievable truth of Project Zero Dawn. Evidence indicates that the facility where Elizabeth Sobek worked on Project Zero Dawn lies beneath the Citadel. Mm. Well. That is something, huh? <laughs> Success. All, all of our hard work. The sneakiness, all the sneakiness that I have ever not used in this game, I channeled into this moment, and then there ends up... How how many of them were there? I wish that I had a nemesis that would simply call me Entity. Gets all crazy within, like, the smell of you. What was cool, though, is made him so upset that he broke his long neck. That seems bad. Uh, okay, I would just run out of here. I feel like I should run for a little bit, maybe. Get a sense for, like, where we're at. <laughs> Hades is a metal devil, though. <laughs> And he's also like, no, 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 no. Okay, you know what? <laughs> we're fast traveling. Yep, this is where we're gonna start next time. And it was really quite sneaky. You totally could have fought. Wait, could I have fought all of those on the way in? The end seems like a good place to start asking. Yeah, no, ain't. I wish. I wish it's fine though. Oh, hold on. Let's save because we did some things. 
Wait, so how? Is, is Hades really a metal devil though? Or do we have like a Wizard of Oz moment going on here? Where like, Ted Faro is, his brain got implanted. Oh, skills. Okay, I'm gonna get the dodge prowess. Nice. I always wanted that. Um, but what if like Ted's brain is, it's in like a jar or something that's connected to the metal devil? Like, <laughs> the sheer trauma response was you heard that sound. Do not look at the man behind the curtain. It's gotta be... Man, it's gotta be Ted. What if he knew all along that his robots would take over the world? You know? That would be a crazy twist. And he just did this pretend, like, save the world thing with, with Elizabeth um, to kind of, like, save face or whatever because he was trying to do it in secret and then it got out and, like, whatever happened. Then he was like, you know what? I'm just going to go full, like... It's just, like, I'm just going to go full Mad Men and try to rule the world. Like, what if... What if? It's actually him in there. Isn't it weird that the only that the metal devils are able to like talk? Something seems weird there. Uh, I don't know what it is quite yet, but something's not right. Something is not right. Curious proposal. Wait, what was the curious proposal again? Oh, the relic. Right, right, right. Okay. Sudden's judgment. Investigate the storehouse. We have so many things to do, but we have so many things to do starting on Thursday. Okay, so for Thursday. What's the main thing we're going to try to do? I mean, I'm probably going to, like, backtrack, I guess, and try to get, um... I think I randomly had, like, a metal flower out here somewhere. Or maybe I got it. I don't know. I, I want to get this tall neck and clear out this area here. I'll probably grab the last Banook figure. I'll grab... I'm pretty sure this is the last Vantage, too. We can have more Vantage story time. Um, corrupted zone. We might get here. I don't know. Kind of running out of, like out of things to backtrack to, you know? <laughs> Alas, we still need a fox skin. Yeah, we need a fox skin. I, I think, like, going back, uh, like, back in this area is probably where we could just, like, farm fox skins. I also need a raccoon skin. Pretty sure this is where we saw, like, a lot of them at the beginning, but, uh, yeah, it's okay. We'll get, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> I, I for one can get behind blaming Ted for everything. I'm done with everything ever being Ted's fault. All right, good. So I think we, we beat the game, right? That's it. We can blame, blame Ted for everything. Um. Uh, I think we could probably get to Sunfall on, on Thursday, to be honest. I'm, like, looking through. There's a couple metal flowers. How many do I have left? Uh, 
There's four metal flowers and one Banook figure left. One vantage. Here's the Banook figure, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, yeah, the metal flowers out here. One vantage. Where am I missing a vantage? Is there one in like the DLC area that maybe I just like haven't uncovered yet? No, but it makes it look like it's, uh, oh, up here. Oh my gosh, how did I even miss this? Okay, yeah, so Thursday, I'm gonna backtrack. I'm gonna get the remaining metal flowers, the vantages, the Banook, and if we have time, into Sunfall, right? Otherwise, I feel like this would be a good Saturday stream type deal, I think. Undiscovered pigments? Wait, what the heck are these? Game progressions. 75.22%? No! Why am I getting so close? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like it. It's coming, the end is coming too fast and there's still so much to do. I, I just, I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. Oh, those are DLC, okay. That's what happens when you get sidetracked not doing story. That it somehow flies past you and at the same time. Oh, it's going too fast. Yeah, we, we definitely, we got we to gotta backtrack on Thursday. So I'm not going to promise, I'm not going to promise a sunfall for Thursday. What about like... Man, it should really be like Sunfall Sunday. But I, I'll probably be ready to go there on Saturday. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so if you're planning ahead, Thursday is going to be a catch-up stream. I'm going to go through uh, to collect everything that I missed. And then Saturday, my Saturday streams are 2 p.m. EST-ish. That's when we're going to do Sunfall. So keep that in mind. You are still more than welcome for Thursday. Ooh, Thursday. Uh, stream start time is going to be closer to 9 o'clock. Uh, 9 p.m. EST-ish. I have a meeting that goes until 9. So there's that. So. I think that's it. Did I save? I should probably save. I'm going to quit.